All right, hello. Um, we're going to go through how to format an SD card in Windows using the command line. Uh, I find using the command line is a bit more effective than going through the Windows GUI. The Windows GUI tends to be a little limited. It shows you devices and you may not be able to perform the actions that you're actually wanting to do with them. So, to begin with, we'll need to open up a administrative command prompt. You can do that by going to your start menu, searching for command, and you'll see command prompt in that list. In Windows 8 and Windows 10, you can do this by typing in directly into the uh, start menu or search screen uh, in Metro. Uh, just type in command. If you right click, you'll get a wonderful context menu here, and you'll see one that's run as administrator. If you don't have administrative rights, you may have problems with this. But assuming you have administrative rights, we'll go on with this. Click on administrative rights, approve the UAC if it does pop up, and you'll have this wonderful administrator command prompt window. Once you're in here, you'll go ahead and open up uh, disk part by typing in disk part. and that will open up the Microsoft Disk Partitioner. Uh, your version may not be the same, but this hasn't really changed a whole lot since the early DOS days. Now, when you're in here, this is only part of it. You need to find out which disk you actually need to change. So my next step will be to list disks. And you do that by typing list disk. Press Enter. And then you'll have a listing of several disks here. I see I have my main drive, which is 465 gigabytes. I don't want to mess with that. That has my operating system on it. I have a second disk that's an external terabyte drive. I don't want to mess with that. And I see disk 2 here is an almost 8 gig. I have an 8 gig SD card in the, car, in the uh, computer right now. That's actually what I want to mess with. So the next step is to select disk 2 in my case, or disk 3 or whatever in your case. Uh, I don't know the setup of the computer and they'll show up differently on everyone. But this does list physical devices attached to the computer. It doesn't list partitions. If you have a, a bunch of partitions on your hard drive, you won't see drive C, D, E, F. You will see the actual physical device that contains all those. So if you have an SD card that's been reformatted for something like a uh, Raspberry Pi or as a bootable Linux thing and it's created a uh, root partition and a swap partition, those don't matter. All we care about is the physical device. So I'm going to select the disk by typing in select disk and in this case 2. select disk 2. Let me get the mouse out of the way. And I'll see confirmation. Disk 2 is now my selected disk. Any operations I do from this point forward will be on that disk. thing to keep in mind is anything you do in here, once it's committed, it is committed and there is no going back. So, moving onward, the next step is a uh, big thing. It will wipe all data from that disk completely. You'll be left with absolutely nothing. It gets rid of the partition tables, it gets rid of all the formatting, and of course any files that are inside of that. So, we'll type in clean, if I can spell it right. Clean. And this will actually clean that disk. It'll wipe everything. So now the disk has been successfully cleaned. Now we need to create a primary partition, otherwise there's no actual data structure to put this in. Uh, if you want to make it uh, an analogy, it'd be like when you're painting, you need to put down primer before you can put on the paint to actually have the paint look right. In this case, we have to create a primary partition for the formatting to work right. So to do that, we will type in create partition, P-A-R-T-I-T-I-O-N and we want to specify the type as a primary. There's a lot of different uh, partition types on SD cards. Really, you only want to mess with the primary. So 
So what that did was we just told it we want to make a primary partition using all the space that's available on that disk. Pretty simple. And now we need to specify the format that goes with it. So we will type in format. And we want to specify the file system is going to be FAT32. FAT32 is a very compatible file system. It works on pretty much everything that's out there right now. Um, it's a 32-bit uh, file space, so you'll be able to address files up to 4 gigabytes. It works Linux, Mac OS, Android, Windows, pretty much everything. And I want to do this as a quick format. A quick format, all it's really doing is not making sure that everything is perfect on the disk as it goes along. If you don't do a quick format, it can take a lot longer, but you are more assured that it's going to find bad sectors or uh, areas that can't be formatted properly and uh, marking those as unusable. There is a little risk of uh, having some possible data loss in here so if you don't feel comfortable with that just omit quick. I'm going to go ahead and do quick because I haven't ever had any problems with this and it'll give you a percentage. All right. Now, because it's a this is a flash media disk, it's solid state. You saw it just jump from zero to one hundred. That's pretty common. If you had a, a spinning platter disk, uh, like a normal hard drive, you would see that go up in percents because it's writing to each sector and cluster, and it can actually track that stuff. On a solid state, it just issues the command, "Hey, I want to do this," and it's taken care of. All right. Now, at this point, we should be good, and I can exit the disk partitioner. Now, I don't know what uh, drive this actually is on, though. That's going to be a problem. And there are ways to figure out what drives are what. Uh, the easy way, and let me go ahead and pull up my main screen. In my opinion, the easy way is to actually go to start and type in disk management. You'll notice ooh, MGMT dot MSC. Uh, this is the direct link to a uh, advanced control panel item. I don't remember the click-throughs. I've been doing this for so many years. It's just something that's ingrained. But you should be able to type in any version of Windows from Windows XP on. D-I-S-K-M-G-M-T dot M-S-C. And this will bring up the graphical user interface for Microsoft's disk management. This gives a uh, graphical version of what we were basically looking at in disk part. Uh, it also includes all the partition information. Up here in the top, these are all your partitions that are listed. Um, on my computer, I have the primary drive C, uh, drive F, my external drive, a drive E, and then a system reserved. Uh, it's a little different, but at any rate, down here, you'll see the physical devices with their partitions listed in them. Uh, disk 0 it shows as a basic disk. Disk 1 is also a basic disk. Disk 2 you'll see is a removable. That is actually my SD card. And you can tell, if, if you know the capacity of your SD card, you can look and if the size is pretty close. Mine says 8 gigabytes. It shows 7.41. It's pretty close. You're going to lose a little bit just because of naming conventions and overhead. But I can see that it's shown as healthy and the whole entire drive is allocated. If it wasn't allocated, you see a chunk of this blue line and then it would be blank after. But it would still have uh, the whole size listed. So it's kind of like a chart. Anyway, the main purpose of me going in here was to figure out what drive I actually had and to see if it was actually reading. 
So now that I'm done with that, I can open up Windows Explorer and you can see I have my SD card sitting right there. Pretty cool. At this point you should be all set and you should be able to use your SD card. Go ahead and pop it into your device. It should see it. Have fun.